Hey, this is Jenny Jones, Digital Growth Hacks Club. Hey, listen, got a tool in front of you right now. It is uh, instantly. And what I wanted to do was do a quick uh, review on it. I think there's some people out there trying to compare that to one of the other tools I did. So I'm gonna give this one its own space. Then I'm gonna come back and do a versus for you. So you'll kind of see the pros and cons of both tools. So uh, I had to block out my email, obviously, because I get all these spams after I send out, uh, uh, after I show my email address online, it's the weirdest thing. But what happens is you just place your, um, you add a new um, email here. Then once you do that, you just turn it on and this turns up the warmer like that. And I'm going to show you what's going to happen. So this is one that I sent out. It sent six emails and uh, I've only sent out one, but it sent six emails. They owe you uh, what the activity is in this actual mailbox. So once you click on that uh, email there, you're able to see your email warming up. This is the warm up status deliverability in the last seven days. 100% of your warm up emails have landed in an inbox earlier today and six warm up emails have been sent. Uh, six have landed in the inbox, zero from spam, five warm up emails have been received, right? And so you can enable or disable this to, to do the, uh, the checks for you there. But I just thought that was weird and I am getting them in, but this is just a status of this. So instantly to me for the offer that they have, they're offering right now on their plans, they're offering, um, a tier one, $59 unlimited accounts and warmups, 20,000 emails monthly, but 5,000 active leads. So basically out of 5,000 leads, you could send 20,000 emails, right? And so though that's just for tier one, tier two is $99 and it moves to 40,000 emails monthly and 10,000 active leads. So active leads mean, yeah, I can do unlimited warmups but I only can send out so many leads. And that really basically is gonna come down to the campaign. So to me, this is a good tool that I would use. So here you can see we are inside of uh, the settings here. And once you go inside the settings, you can say, hey, use custom tracking domain. So you can actually click that and do that as well. And you can increase per day uh, suggested to no more than four of emails per day or to warm it up, right? And this is your daily limits is, hey, send no more than 20, right? And that's the suggested. And then your max is 200. And then this is the uh, reply rate. You want to, this is your, uh, I want 30% of them to be replied to. So I sent six out, but only one did not get replied to. That makes sense because they're like, hey, we don't want to reply to all of them. So one of them didn't get replied to. So this is the re reply rate. So in other words, you want to mimic the use of a real life user using email. No one's going to open up every single email that you send, right? So this is your reply rate, meaning that, hey, don't reply to all of them, only reply to some of them and so on and so forth. And this is the uh, monitor blacklist alert when uh, blocked. So if you're, if you're, you'll get an alert when, um, if you ever put on a blacklist. So sometimes you can send out emails and people get tired of sending them to you. So instead of unsubscribing, they'll just put your domain on a blacklist. So I'm assuming, and I don't really know for sure if this is what this is, but this seems like this is what this is for. So alert when blocked. So they'll let you know when you, when you actually get added to a blacklist. Um, and a blacklist again is someone's tired of sending your e seeing your emails and they don't want your emails to get through. So they take your whole name and domain and they add it to their blacklist. Meaning that do not my server, my email server, my mailbox exchange, do not let anything come through here with that name or that email box on it. So that's how that is. And then you just save it out. So then we're going to go over here and we're going to look at some of the campaign setup. Before we look at the campaign setup, I wanted to show you what it looks like to create a, a new uh, email to put inside the warmer. So you just click over to the right and then you get this box that comes up, connect a new email account. Uh, if it's in Gmail, G Suite, you connect it here. If it's MS Office, you connect it there. And then this right here, any other IMAP or SMTP, uh, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, any one of those are going to fit in here. More than likely, if you run your own domain or something like that outside of Gmail, you're going to probably, this is probably the selection you're going to select here. So let's click that selection. Let's see what we get behind that. Well, to show more, I just wanted to show more. So you click more and you get Zoho Mail as well. So that's your more, right? And, um, 
so let's see what happens when we click on the IMAP SMTP. So what happens when you when you click on that is you actually get this this blank blank box right here. You put in your email and your password and uh, first name and last name, right? And then you just click uh, set up as set up IMAP. Okay. So one thing I will share with you before I go forward is it was it's set up pretty easy. It this was a little bit easier setting up than it was for uh, Mirrorless. Mirrorless it was um, took a little bit longer for some reason, meaning that once I put everything in, I had to get everything just right. This one was, this one felt simple and I, I think I kind of have a reason why and it's it's really because it's doing a lot of things to myself, right? Whereas Merrillist, they're trying to attach themselves to a 2,500 um, email server uh, network. And I thought I had to go through a lot more hoops. This one is, appears to be a little bit lighter. And that's what concerns me on going with the unlimited accounts and warmups. I just don't want people to abuse this. Uh, there are people like that. I don't know why people do that, but some people just create all these different lists for some reason. So let's take a look at the setup of the IMAP. So what you do here is I just put in a uh, name. Well, I didn't put in my name, but I just put in the name. What you do here is you put in your name, first name, and last name, and you put your email in. I was just putting in a fake email and a fake address. You can just hit set up IMAP and it'll just automatically set it up from there. It's it's the strangest thing, but it just sets it up from there. I think that's really, I thought that was different too. So let's go and look, take a look over at the campaigns. Let's see what we got over there. All right. So we're over here now inside of uh, campaigns, clicked on campaigns right here. And I did a test to myself. I just wanted to see what it would be like. And I sent it to one of my own emails. So I'm not gonna be able to, to share the entire email with you, but I will give you an example of what it looks like inside. So um, what you're gonna see here is this is, this shows that I sent one This shows that it was actually opened and it shows that I, it was replied to. Right. And so to do a new one, we're going to go through the new, but I just want to show you what happened on this test that I sent and show you what happens, uh, what that looked like. Okay. So let's take a look at this test right here. Okay. So this is inside the test. Once I went and sent that test to myself, uh, this is a campaign that I sent to myself. Um, it was sent once open, 100% open rate. I sent it uh, 14 hours ago as part of this test. And it tells you here, your leads, your sequences, your schedule and your options. So this is kind of what you'll see when you start sending out your, uh, your campaigns. This is how you'll be able to track them here. And then once you name it, you name your campaign. Once you start the campaign, you name it and then you say what you wanted to do. So we'll go back and look at starting one. Okay, so let's go through these, these menu buttons up here. Okay, so once you click on leads, it's gonna show you the actual contact that's there. It was completed, the reply was received. So that's what happens when you click on the, uh, the leads button. And I, like I said, I just did a test and I put that email address in there and that's what you get back there. So let's take a look at sequences. So this is the actual sequence that I did. And again, this is a campaign. So if you don't know, or if you haven't know, um, I will put uh, actually a link up above. I'll use this opportunity to use a link up above to go through what an actual email sequence looks like. So you can see that in one of the other videos that I did, but a sequence is just a series of emails that you send out to people and not a whole lot of customization here, right? I used uh, dear name, so dear Jenny, Right. When you get an op a chance, please come holla at your boy. Right. I was just messing around, but I just put that in there. And this is the subject line. Hey, Jenny, uh, uh, we will meet up. You know, I just put that in there so you can add a step to this. Right. You can say, hey, uh, wait one day. Right. And I think um, these have days just like mirrorless has days. And I, like I said, I think it's best that they do days instead of minutes because they don't want you to get in trouble for spamming, but they'll do days here. Um, so you put in the days, hey, wait one day, then, um, which I thought this was kind of confusing here, because either that's wait one day and then the, step, the second step says the same thing. So I'm not really sure what happened here. This says, hey, Jenny, let's meet one day, that's step, and then step two. I don't know what this is. Is this really step two? Step two has the same, actually it has the same subject line. So that was confusing when I first saw it. And then I just typed something there as well. 
okay so that's your steps you can just add your steps there and let's look at some advanced options in the steps i could wait uh one day i can add a condition hey wait one day if the email is open right this is the condition the condition are logical statements hey if a lead opens this email then skip wait time before next step right so if they open it before then don't uh, skip the wait one day just go ahead and send the next step right and you can add another condition to that if if replies to this email then wait one day or if they reply then change wait time before next step to me this is this is this is the beginning steps of something good, but the logic here is just, it's basic logic. It, it doesn't get into full conditional statements, which I'm assuming if they're programming it, they'll probably be able to come up with more advanced conditions later on. But this is just, to me, it's just, they probably could have left this out or made it a little bit more robust, but I don't have a problem with it. I think it gives you something versus nothing, right? And so those are your options. And, um, or you can just delete the step altogether all right, so let's look at what a schedule looks like. And again, these are, uh, you can insert links, you can insert variables here, uh, use a template. So they do have a template. So let's take a look at their template here. So this is their templates here. They have lead generation templates, marketing, video advertising, uh, coaching, incredible results. My name is blank. I'm your co, I'm the co-founder of your company name and so on and so forth. So you can use these templates quick and easy follow-ups not a whole lot but it's something it definitely is going to inspire you to write something okay so that's what you can use that's the template you can actually use which i don't know why it's down there but anyway it's down there nevertheless right and so you can then preview the email which i think is nice to have a nice little uh preview on it as well so anyway all right so uh let's take a look at schedule so inside the schedule, um, you can go in here. Marilis has a schedule as well. You can say, hey, uh, don't send on Mondays and don't send on Wednesdays and don't send on Fridays and Sunday we don't want. So we only want our, 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 our emails to go out on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, put on our time zone, and you can send it out from this window, right? Whenever you send it out, just send it out. Here's the window you need to send it out, right? And so we can name this schedule. Right. And then when you're putting them together, you can say, hey, follow my 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 Tuesday, Thursday schedules. You can put Tuesday, Thursday here and then you can create another schedule and call it your Monday, Friday schedule. And that, those are options that you can select for how you want to send it out. All right. And so that's that. And so let's look at options. So once you click on options and say, hey, this is the options when you're sending out email, you can have the ability to, hey, what email do I want to use? You can select that email or you can have a drop down and select another email, multiple emails. I think Merlis allows you the opportunity to use multiple emails to send out as well. And then you can have an open tracking. Hey, I wanted I wanted this to be tracked as well. I want this part of my analytics um, to track the open emails. I want that enabled. I want to see that stop sending emails on reply. I definitely want to be enabled. I want to see that stop sending emails to a lead if a response has been received. Right. And so we don't want them to continue to get spam. But these are just precautionary measures that you put in place as well. So you can also do. Uh, use smart send, which slowly ramp up to a daily uh, sending limits. I want to enable that. So I want you to send two. I want you to send four. I want you to send five and just kind of ramp it up to the daily limits. I think in Merrillist, they give you an, a, a sending interval, like send one email to the next prospect every five minutes, wait in between when you send those out. So that's something that they do as well. Um, and then you have a daily sending limit, right? Don't send no more than this many uh, per day. And then you have a show advanced limits, uh, maximum number of new leads to contact per day, which that's advanced. This is a max number and it says leave blank to remove these limits. So I do want a number to be sent out, but I don't want no more than 200 to be sent out. But if I wanted to change it, I guess these two almost mean the same max number of new leads to contact per day. Also, oh, this is new leads, right? So I, I does it. This is for new leads and this is send out per day period. And this is for uh, new leads. So and then you just hit um, and this is a campaign. So this one's already started um and this is a pause that i can hit but again this is a campaign that i already started working on which is a test to myself 
Now we're gonna go take a look at the analytics, which is probably the most impressive part of it so far. So here we are over here at the analytics, right? And so what we have is I have we're only running one campaign. It was 100%, obviously, because I sent it to myself and I opened it, right? I can pause it from here, but this is what happened. I sent it uh, yesterday or last night and it opened. These are my sent, my unique opens, my opens and my replies. And that's what you're getting. And it only goes back the last 30 days. Interesting. I thought we'd have more there, but it is a junior uh tool doesn't it's not as advanced but i think there's some room for potential here so it only goes back 30 days which is i thought it would go back further but it only goes back 30 days so there you go so let's take a look at the settings and once we look at the settings uh we will be done with this tool and that's your settings and this is what we have for settings this is this is what we have i have a tier one package here and that's what i have and that's all we have in settings so you have your email you have your email warming which is unlimited. You have your um, your campaign here. You have your analytics and you have your settings. And that is it for this tool. You can get in and out of this tool with the with a pretty um, quick speed. Uh, but that's what we have here. And so far, I mean, just to beginning and starting out, uh, I don't have a problem with this tool. Definitely do not have a a problem with a one tier uh, purchase of this tool. One tier purchase gives you unlimited accounts and warm up. Um, 20,000 emails you can send out monthly. I'm assuming that's through your campaign and you can only have 5,000 active leads, which I don't really truly understand that, but that's how many you can have with the tier one. So that's probably what I'll have. Um, anything that's going to give me unlimited, uh, warmups for a tier one. I think I probably will take that because I may have some other emails that I need to warm up that I probably can't warm up in my other, in any of my other systems, but for a one-time cost, I think I'll take that. My challenge with this tool, as I kind of wrap up, my challenge with this tool is uh, anytime people see unlimited anything in AppSumo, they get, um, people get, they have a tendency to get kind of carried away with the unlimited. So I don't want people to abuse it and then they end up uh, doing some different things with the accounting, the account system, and then something happens to the company and they have to take servers down and all that because people are abusing it. And uh, so that always worries me. And but then it, the sustainability of a lifetime deal for unlimited always worries me um, because I want to know um, how are you supporting unlimited? Right. And I and I and those are some of the things other than that. I mean, for fifty nine bucks for one tier, I don't see any problem with that for unlimited. All right. Uh, so this is Jenny Jones. Um, please like and subscribe. You'll probably see another link. There is a Merlis. Uh, comparison there and i'm gonna do a side by side versus and we'll we'll see what's gonna happen with that so you'll probably catch that at the end of this video hope you're doing well stay safe out there goodbye for now